Hey guys, welcome back to Judo Highlights. So the World Championships is just around the corner and I'd like to do a predictions video for all the weight categories. In this video we'll go through under 60, under 66 and under 73. And then I have another video for 81s and 90s and then another one for the heavyweights. So starting at under 60 and I've tried to keep this to four picks and I've got a couple of wild cards or dark horses in there as well. So my first pick is Gary Goss. Obviously he is world champion from the year before. Absolutely on a roll right now. He seems to be winning a lot more recently, especially heading in to the Paris Olympics. He's got to be one of the favorites heading into the world championships and the Paris Olympics. Although recently he lost to Mikidze and Mikidze is another one of my picks. Mikidze as well has been on some really good form. European champion from 2023. And then he took a gold medal at the Paris Grand Slam 2024. And then after that, he got to the finals both times, Antalya and the Baku Grand Slam, but lost to two Russian guys. Now one of them, Bliev, he is one of my dark horses for under 60. He might come from behind and just steal the gold medal. You never know. Now, outside of those guys, I've got two Japanese picks as well. The first one is Nakamura Taiki. Now he's still very young, very green on the international scene, hasn't had a lot of experience, but he has a devastating Nawaza game that a lot of guys just really struggle with. He does have a loss to Gary Goss, which is understandable because, I mean, Gary Goss, he has really strong Nawaza as well, but I will put him up there. He doesn't lose very often. And then lastly, Nagayama. Nagayama, he's going to be my top pick. I'm going to pick him to take the gold. I know there's some really strong competitors at under 60, but... Nagayama, he's been chosen as the representative for Japan at the Paris Olympics. He's coming to the World Championships. He's going to want to use this event to springboard himself to gold at the Paris Olympics. And also, I will say that just his style, really strong stand-up judo, seems to match up really well against a lot of these guys. Bliev, Nakamura, Gary Goss. I think his stand-up is just going to give a lot of guys a lot of problems. Next up at under 66, and this category also has two Japanese competitors and two really strong competitors in my opinion. So the first one's Tanaka. Now he's had some good results domestically here in Japan, but at the Grand Slam and Tash game, which was his last competition, he lost in the quarterfinal and then lost in the ripper charge, and he lost against Chapanov. Now Chapanov, he's one of the Russians competing at the World Championships, and he's another one of my picks. So Tanaka, he's in the mix. He's obviously very, very skilled. He's taken a lot of golds before, but I would put him somewhere in the middle of my list. He's definitely not on the top. Now, Takeoka, on the other hand, Takeoka is someone who I think is gonna be the next big thing. His judo is absolutely incredible. He is still a little bit green to the international scene, but he's got some good wins. He's got a win over Maruyama. Who has a win over Maruyama? He's got a win over Yondon Perenlai, Tone, Really, really good resume. Kaya, he's beaten Kaya twice. Fabio Basili as well. So I'm actually going to pick Takeoka to win it, which is surprising. I think this is going to be uh, his moment. And I do think he matches up well against these other guys. I'm not sure how the draw would work, but I'm pretty sure they wouldn't put two people from the same country in the same bracket. So you wouldn't see Tanaka facing Takeoka early on. And I'm not actually sure how that matchup would go. But other than that, I mean, I really like Takeoka's chances. Now, I did mention Tone. Tone, I mean, he's another judoka that I look up to a lot. Amazing, amazing skills. And there's also Vieru. So, under 66 is really stacked. But i got to say, I think just Takeoka, thinking about the game plans and throws that they all have, I think Takeoka's skills in the standing are just a little bit better than all those other guys. Now, lastly, under 73. And I will talk about the Dark Horses. This is going to be strange, calling one of these guys a Dark Horse. But anyway, I think two guys who may cause a few upsets. One, Shafda Tawashvili. That might be a bit surprising. And two, uh, Makhmad Bekov from Russia. Now Shafda Tawashvili, I think he's over the hill. I think he's losing a little bit of consistency. And I think people have kind of figured him out a little bit. So I'm calling him a Dark Horse, and, and that's what it is. And of course, Mikhail Bekov as well, someone who's just a monster on the ground and can really upset anyone's day. 
Now I got three more picks. Of course, we're going to talk about Heydarov. He's probably the most consistent of them all. He's got a weird judo style. He just finds a way to win. Now Stump, he's another guy who's competing at the World Championships. And he's found a bit of form recently, although I don't like his chances against some of these other names. Although Stump, he's been known to kind of ruin a few Japanese judokas' hopes and dreams. One of them, Oyoshi Ken, who Stump, I mean, he took him out early with a really nice Ippon back in the day. So Stump, he may cause another Japanese upset here against Ishihara. We'll see what happens. I've got high hopes for Ishihara, just like Takeoka. If you have a look at his profile on judo base, he has not lost the competition yet. Although, I mean, he hasn't competed in that many tournaments, so still very, very green. Now, the last person I'll mention at under 73 is Ahadov. Now, I actually have this opinion about a lot of the Uzbekistan team. Their skills are just way better than the results that they get. So he can throw anyone. And you never know, he might cause a big upset, take gold. That would be really, really surprising. But would you believe it, guys, my three picks for under 60, under 66, and under 73 are all Japanese. Call me biased, but I'm pretty sure I'll get two out of three. But anyway, guys, that's it from me. Use the code Judo Highlights to get a discount. Watch the World Championships. It's going to be a great one. And that's it from me. Peace.